What is up everyone? My name is Darnell Austin, founder and CEO of Fillmore Media. And today I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about what it takes to start a YouTube channel. Now, um, if you're thinking that you need hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to start a YouTube channel or any other kind of videography web-based channel, yo, you're absolutely wrong. What it does take, however, is good video quality. And where you can get good video quality from is not like a camera like this. No, you don't need this at all. But what you can use is the phone that's in your back effing pocket. You don't need some extravagant thousand dollar camera to get your YouTube channel started. No, you don't need that at all. All you need is your cell phone because why? The cell phones that you guys carry in your pocket today shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. That's a capability that this camera isn't even capable of. Matter of fact, this camera shoots 1080p at 60 frames per second, which is still, you know, decent. I have to upscale it to 4K in post, but nonetheless, you guys can get the same video quality that I get out of this, if not better, in your cell phone. Did you know that? Now, the second thing that you guys are gonna need is good audio, and you can go on Amazon and look for any kind of audio mic that plugs right into the cell phone that you guys are using, and guess what, you're off to the races. You don't need none of that expensive stuff at all, so for all these, oh, I wanna start a channel, but I don't have the money, and I wanna do this, and I wanna do that, Go ahead and do it. Yo, what's stopping you? Another thing that people need to get over is this myth about fucking, oh, I don't want to go out and I don't want to, you know, hold my camera up here and record myself because people are going to think that I'm weird. Yo, fuck them. Like, fuck them. Like, do you. How else are you going to get better at this? Like, go out and do you. Record yourself. I don't care if people are watching. Yo, when I'm in the gym and I got my camera and I'm shooting, like, these workouts and stuff and they look all cinematic, yo, I don't give a fuck about the people that are watching me. All I care about is getting better in the quality of my work and the angles that I can get while I'm shooting that video. Too many people put too much emphasis on, oh, they're gonna think that I'm weird. Yo, fuck them, do you, bro. Like, go out and do you. Because nine times out of 10, no, fuck it, 10 times out of 10, when I go home and I edit the video and post, and then that person that was watching me at the gym, like, oh, this motherfucker's weird. He got a camera, and he's out, and he's in post, and they see the video, they're like, yo, that's dope. Bro, I wanna be in your video, bro. No, fuck you, kick rocks, nigga. I was weird, right? Now you want to be in video, right? Yo, get out of here. I don't care about these people. I don't care about those people at all. So camera quality, thinking that you need an expensive camera is no. You don't need that. Like a lot of this stuff on this camera, I wouldn't call it extra because I have a point of contact here so I can have good stabilization if I'm going handheld. This cage that I have around the camera allows me to put add-ons and like a mic and like, you know, all this stuff on it. Like, you know, that's something that I like. That's a personal preference, but you don't need none of this to get started at all. You don't need an expensive camera. All you need is good video quality, which your phone provides. Like a lot of y'all walking around here with Samsung, and galaxies and iPhones 11, 12s and 15s and shit. Yo, you have the capability in your pocket. Just take it out and get started. I think that's where a lot of us struggle is we just don't get, just get started. And a lot of people don't, don't get started because you need things to be just right and just perfect. And I need the lights and I need the best camera and I need to show it off. And people need, yo, fuck all that. You want to start a YouTube channel 2019 into 2020? Yo, go ahead and get started because a lot of my earlier videos, the ones that I was shooting for free most of the times, or on an iPhone. I had to work hella overtime. Matter of fact, I got a second job at Best Buy to buy this camera. Now you can get this camera for around 600 bucks. I mean, the lens is expensive, but that's gonna be something that you're gonna have to save to and, and you can make it a goal. But as far as getting started, yo, get started right now. You don't need half the shit that you think you need. All you need is your cell phone and good audio. Those are like two out of the three most important things to getting started. First is your video quality, which your iPhone or, or your uh, fucking Samsung, whatever, uh, provides that. Second is audio. You can use the audio straight out the camera, but sometimes if you have bad audio, the audience might get lost in it. Right now, I'm recording external audio from this camera, then I'm gonna sync it up and post with the video that I'm shooting right now for you guys. But uh, that's a step that you can skip and you can take. That's just something that I wanna do to make my audio a little bit better. So audio, video, and color. Like you need good color in your videos, which again, a lot of the automatic features that the iPhone provides has that already built into the camera. So 
yo, make it your year. Like it's time for the separation. It's time to go out and be creative because believe it or not, like once you take that initial like jump, the rest is downhill from there. Like I can't, I don't know. I don't know how else to say. It's like once you get into a habit of just doing something all the time, like it's it, it becomes like you don't even have to think about doing it. It's just something that you do. So, you know, don't conform to what America or society tells you what to do or what people deem is weird. Like, yo, do you like like do you, bro? Because I'm, I'm doing me. I don't give a damn which I look like to you. Like I'm being creative. This is something that I love. And it's obviously something that I have, in a, I have a passion about. And if you have a passion, passion about this as well, yo, go, go out and, and do it. Like, why not do something because of what people are going to think of you? Like, you know, um, uh, last, last, uh, topic I want to touch on is, uh, uh, video editing software because I feel like that's where a lot of people struggle at is once they shoot the video they don't know how to edit it um, I'll be editing this video on Final Cut Pro so all the edits you see in this video are on Final Cut Pro um, or you can use Adobe Premiere Pro Final Cut Pro is software that only comes with a MacBook so you can go out and get whatever cheap MacBook and you're able to get Final Cut Pro or you can get any laptop and you can use um, Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere is a $10 a month subscription um, and it's phenomenal software. I can't say enough good things about it. However, I prefer to own my software and not have to pay for it every month. You know, at $10 a month, a month adds up. So um, there's other free softwares out there that you can most definitely use. You can get DaVinci Resolve, which is another great editing software. I only use it for color grading uh, since I bought a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera because, you know, you're able to shoot uh, raw footage in that. But, you know, that's a topic that I'll touch on on another date. You can just Google any kind of free software, anything that will, will allow you to edit your video. You know, you're off to the races. My name is Darnell Austin and I just dropped off a jewel.